producing what we call the star maker he is a major force in the modeling industry not only in uganda not only in east africa not only in africa but the universe at large ladies and gentlemen without any further delay let us introduce joram mozira job the executive director of jmm joram model management Yes, Jerome. Yeah, <laughs> the drums roll. You're most welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. How are you me. doing, Jerome? I am very well, thank you. Enjoying mm. the lockdown as uh -huh. opposed to you know people just saying it's very stressful. I am happy, doing mm -hmm. so much at the moment, mm -hmm. and I should say I'm super blessed. Wow, yes. we are super super blessed to have you as well. Thank you Jerome. very much for having me. This is so um, the, oh, the entire audience, the entire Uganda, the entire East Africa, thing we want to see Jerome in this show. Oh. And finally, we are here. And I'm finally. sure they are, they are glued to their screens watching you yes. and they're like, wow, well, finally we have our man. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? I am very well. How is the lockdown you? taking you? Um, I should say the lockdown is treating mm. me really well. Because okay. what I've done is that this is a period for me to self-evaluate myself okay. because we work so hard at JMM. So what we've been trying to do is um, scout as much as we can online. Okay. Um, it's a time for us to also get in touch with our international girls that are mm. working so much in New York, Paris, London, and Milan. And it, mm. it has also been a time for us to you know, work on our series that we're working on right now, the okay. Star Maker series. Okay. And um, I should say it's been, it's a time to reflect. It's a time to come up with new strategies, a time to come up with new concepts, okay. and a time to you know not just sit back, eat, Gain so much weight and then just complain <laughs> to our <Sabah laughs> government to Yambi. But a time whereby, you know, we've told ourselves we must conquer the world. Do you know, you it's not all about eating. It's <laughs> about <laughs> like eating. How do they eat in this lockdown? How does somebody do it? Yeah. But to be honest, like some of us are still waiting for number just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you get the message? Ah, uh, not I, yet. I said, I keep checking my mobile money every time. You don't have time. It's not coming. Not at the moment. Okay. Yes. So, Jerome, uh, I've always heard about you and all that, and I don't know, what does it take to work with Jerome? I mean, there are many models out there who are like, I need to work with Jerome. Mm. I, what does it take? Um, to be honest, what mm. it, um, so many things. I account for when I'm scouting for models, when the okay. whole team at German is scouting for models. But the biggest thing that we look for is we don't necessarily look for very pretty, extremely handsome, good looking, tall, and then all that. Because the fashion industry right now has changed so much yeah. um, to the extent that right now they are looking for models that are very smart, very mm -hmm. intelligent. Okay. And then what else do you bring to the table other than your looks, other than your height, and then oh. so much? Okay. So that is why at the moment, um, for you to get a spot in German, it takes personal. Personality, um, your vision as well, like where mm. do you want to be and what else do you bring to the table are the new walking well, are the new looking amazing mm. and the physical attributes. So it's mainly the personality, um, what you bring to the table okay. and that genesis, we call it the genesis, however, if I walk down the street, I don't want to see 10 angels, I want to okay. see one angel and I'm like, that's the person I'm going for. So we start with the genesis and go to the exodus. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking people to London, mm -hmm. Paris, New York. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. So, I don't. I'll mention all. Mm -hmm. Please share with us just the journey of Joram and how all this came up before we go to the major Dang. questions that I need to ask you. Um, I should say the journey mm -hmm. has been extremely, extremely, extremely tough. Okay. At the same time, extremely long. Mm -hmm. So how many people see me and they're like, "Oh my God, Joram, you're doing a very good job. These girls are in London, Paris, New York, and they mm -hmm. name it all." It just didn't start yesterday. Okay. It started, I should say it started so many years ago because German was established in 2012. Okay. Next year we will be celebrating 10 years. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we'll be celebrating 10 years. So for the 10 years that we'll be celebrating, there's mm. so much that has been happening. Yes. It's been, exactly, it's Ooh. been a journey of making so many mistakes. I know. I'm not gonna lie to you, to you who's watching. We've made so many mistakes, we've learned from those mistakes, and it's been a journey of us learning. Are you sure, John? 
He's <laughs> doing doing us and making mistakes. I am such a perfectionist. I am such a perfectionist, but you know, in business, if you want to like really learn, you yeah. take a risk and then you make a okay. mistake. Mm-hmm. So I've taken so many risks mm-hmm. along, you know, the journey, mm-hmm. and I'm happy all these risks, you know, have paid off. So I started off as, um, you know, I started my journey as an intern. That's how I started. As an intern who's just helping out backstage, oiling models, mm-hmm. uh, the one sending the clothes, making sure you know the models are in the line. You know the work that you know the interns do backstage. Mm-hmm. The ones that just scream out, yell out, and then do all that. So that's how I started, interning for literally all the designers in Uganda, yeah. right from Sylvia Wari, um, Santa, name it all, so many of them. I used to like intern for them. Mm-hmm. And there was this show that Sylvia Wari had, it was called the Forever Love Fashion Show okay. in 2012. Wow. I remember that show like yesterday, mm-hmm. simply because this is the show that literally made me. Ooh. So after that, because um, during that show, I was mm-hmm. tasked with, you know, scouting for the models, developing mm-hmm. them, and then producing the show. Yeah. Um, so, you know, Sylvia Wari trusted me with that, and and like they say, the rest is history. Like the show was very successful. And from that show, all the girls that we had and the boys kept telling me, Joram, why don't you do an agency? Why don't you start managing us? Because I didn't have an agency then. I was just, you know, a, a random exactly, guy. A random intern. Exactly, a random intern. But a then, random intern. Oh, that Sylvia, is, what is you out? I mean, you let me tell you, like, I think it was, mm-hmm. it was favor. To be honest, it was oh, favor. Okay. Because I was a stalker for Sylvia Warren. Oh. Yes, mm-hmm. I used to be you a stalker. Look like I, media. that's the whole thing. I was following mm-hmm. Miss Uganda, looking at her social media, mm-hmm. and then going to African Women all the time mm-hmm. because I wanted to be a model, but then it didn't happen for me. Mm-hmm. I was very skinny. I was very lanky. It's so weird that right now that's what they're looking for now, but then back then it wasn't. Mm-hmm. You know the case. So it, they rejected me so many times. So I think for me stalking African Women and Sylvia Warren so much, mm-hmm. that's when Sylvia took notice of me. Yeah, yeah. So you know when she gave me the chance, I was like, John, don't blow it away. Okay. So produce the show, Sky for the models she was very impressed because yeah. the models were amazing okay. so immediately after that show she kept recommending me for so many jobs yeah. so many jobs so many jobs mm-hmm. and then all these girls told me john you know what let's start an agency like let's just start something mm-hmm. so the girls kept saying let's just call it john managers models and i'm like no it doesn't make sense mm-hmm. maybe john modeling agency doesn't make sense until we all say john model management wow. and it worked out mm-hmm. so we didn't even register it then mm-hmm. so opened up an online you know um online platforms, okay. Facebook, mm-hmm. Twitter, name it all. And then we started working slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly. But I mean, it's all this, I was mm-hmm. not even looking at the money. To me, okay. it was passion. It was, mm-hmm. where do we see the industry go? Mm-hmm. So after 2012, 2013, I worked with Miss Uganda, okay. under the agency still. Mm-hmm. Then 2014, um, 2013, Africa's mm-hmm. Next Top Model came okay. through. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, when it came through, mm-hmm. we had a girl who went for it. After her win, the major start started. So literally, JMM almost became established in 2014. So from 2014, we never went back. Absolutely never went back. That's when we got Patricia Akello, we got Paul Mesigua, we got Ayak Veronica, a catch Joy Winnie, a Dit Priscilla, uh, the twins, the channel, and there's so many like Angel. absolutely Angel. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There's so many, and all these girls, you know, and boys yeah. are now working in New York, Paris, yeah. London, yeah. Milan, and literally now we produce all the biggest shows in yeah. the country. Like yeah. name it all, name a biggest show. German is on it, and uh, I should say it's been a journey of us being, you know. Um, very loyal, mm. very honest, yeah. and uh, reputation comes as key number one I mean, in general. How, how yeah. does it, I mean, how can a parent even trust you with that child? You're taking them to New York. Uh, them to exactly, them. that's the whole thing. They trust you. They yeah. do, but you know, in the first place, it wasn't mm. like that. Okay. Like before, you would tell a parent, oh my god, your girl or your boy has mm. major potential mm. to become a fashion model, and mm. they'll look at you like, we thought modeling was for prostitutes. We thought, excuse my French, right? Yeah. But they all, you know, most people actually thought modeling is prostitution. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. models are call girls, call boys. But until we told ourselves, you know what? This is the time for us to prove to people that this can be a profession. Exactly. I did urban planning. Like mm-hmm. all my, you know, people that were paying my tuition, people mm-hmm. that were behind my education, mm-hmm. they expected me to work in an office job, you know, okay. dress up very well, just Those go working, you know. Suits. Exactly, yeah. elegant suits. But that wasn't my passion. Oh, okay. That is why now when I meet someone who has it, I have mm-hmm. to explain to their parents okay. to let them know that modeling is the same thing as being a lawyer, an architect, uh, a doctor, all those professions, most especially if you get a chance to work in the biggest capitals of the world, okay. like you know, New York, Paris, London, and Milan. Why are you stopping Uganda from being? Ah, uh, to be capital? honest, like in Uganda, it's still a baby. I'm okay. not gonna lie about that. It's mm. still a baby. People are just understanding it. Okay. And I mean, congrats to the girls and the boys that are working internationally. They're yeah. now changing the whole game. Mm. Parents now know that oh my god, my daughter can actually be a model, mm. and they can come back here and. 
build a lot of houses, you know, mm. give back to communities, be a part of change, be global forces. Mm. So it has changed, absolutely okay. changed so wow. much. Yeah. Wow. So we've changed the mindset of these parents. Wow. Yeah. And finally, in this journey, Jerome, I'm sure there are very many mothers who are watching this and aspiring yes. mothers. Could you kindly tell them what is there any height that they'll need? Is there any weight that they'll need? Both girls and guys. Is there any specific thing that they'll need to succeed as a model? Mm. Just this one is premium that mm. you're going to give our audience. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm going to do a whole masterclass, but I'll be very brief. Just brief. Absolutely oh. brief. So Two minutes. The, okay. To yeah, the yeah, model yeah. who's watching right yeah, now, yeah. it's very important that you believe in yourself. Okay. Believe in yourself to the core of. People are going to crush you whether you like it or not. Okay. You might look like you know the you know the best supermodel in the world, mm. but people are still gonna say no. Be ready to face rejection in this business okay. because all successful models that have made it worldwide, rule number one, they've mastered the art of you know embracing rejection. Okay. Because if you don't know how to face rejection, don't dream of becoming a fashion model because okay. this it's totally different from you being a lawyer, from you being a doctor. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you study medicine, you're going to go and do medicine and they'll acknowledge you for that. You being a model, you will have the looks, you'll have everything, but you mm -hmm. walk into a casting and mm -hmm. someone else will say, oh my God, you're ugly, your nose is not that great. Oh. So rejection is everything in this business. And then the other thing is that work on your personality as well. Mm -hmm. Personality is absolutely everything. Yeah. Be the type of person who walks into a room and you own it. And when I say own it, you don't walk in and you become a diva. You walk in and people feel your presence. They feel Feel your vibe, they connect with you, they want to know what you're working on. You know, they, they must feel your vibe. Okay. And then, of course, uh, the other thing is take take great care of yourself because, okay. I mean, this is a business where I you must look good, as simple as that. If you don't have the image, you're not gonna book the jobs. Okay. Let's be realistic. Yeah. It's an it's an image based job. As much as they're looking for the brains, mm. the personality, your intelligence, and then all that. Mm. Then the other thing is that you have to be street smart. Okay. Yes, people go to school, they study, but then they don't know how to differentiate between classwork and then yeah. the real world. Yeah. You must be ready to hustle to the okay. fullest. Yeah. Hustling in a way that you know exactly what you want and you're ready to go out and get it. Okay, yeah. wow. That was unlisted. <laughs> Trust me, in case you follow this script from the best in the land, you will not be disappointed.